Okay, well here's just a little introduction video here. Um, I'm going to be starting a whole series on basically machinima within the Unreal Engine 3. So more specifically, this is um, just using the, the stuff that comes with um, Unreal Tournament 3, and then I'll kind of touch a little bit on 3ds Max at some later point, but not right yet. So, uh, like I said, this is just the introduction here real quick. So then I'll move on to basic mesh movement, and that'll be like moving boxes around and things like that. Um, nothing real big, you know, maybe uh, elevator lifts, things like that. Then I'll move on to skeletal mesh movement, and all that that is, is it's moving an object around that has bones, and thus you can animate it. So not just move it around, but actually animate it, move the bones around. Um, so an example would be a character, you know, like the Reaper mesh, or a weapon, you know, like um, like the rocket launcher or anything like that. Then I'll do a short one on lighting, and I'll just show a bunch of stuff on lighting. I'll probably end up, uh, I don't know whether I'll actually do a lighting one or not, because I, I'll probably kind of integrate it into the basic mesh movement and skeletal mesh movement. Then I'll, I'll do another one on sound, and I'll touch on face effects a little bit, but face effects alone could probably have two or three different videos on it just by itself. So I won't get into that too much right now. I'll just kind of introduce it and tell you what it is and everything. Then we'll do a little bit on particle effects later down the road. Not as part of this series. I might go and actually make um, maybe a whole other series just on how to do particle effects. And then I'll do cameras, and that one will probably be another pretty short one. And then lastly, I'll do a miscellaneous um, video, just kind of going over everything else that's important. So uh, that should wrap it up, and then I'll. Uh, I'll start out here just by kind of showing you a little bit of the type of thing you can do with um, the Unreal Editor here. This is a machinima that I made um, for Make Something Unreal, and I'm not going to show you much of it, just uh, kind of a little bit of what went into it. So if we go into uh, Kismet here, you can see this is the Kismet scene here. Um, I'll go over this a little bit uh, right now, actually, I might as well. Um, here, level startup, that goes into toggle announcements off that way you're not going to hear like you know you're joining the red team or anything like that then cinematic mode um, you can see here that you can set different um, different things for that so basically you're making it so that the player has no more control anymore uh, so and then you can see of course the target here is the player then toggle HUD that's heads up display so that uh, displays like the score and the cursor things like that then I always add a little bit of a delay in here just because it never, you know, it takes a second to load up and everything after the level actually starts. So I I have a five second delay in here. You can make it whatever you want or you don't even have to have one. And then, you know, I'll, I'll get more into this eventually. But what you can see here is the matinee sequence and then all of these are nodes. Well, I'll, I'll get into that later, so don't worry about that right now. But you can get these pretty complex and you can do some pretty crazy things with them. So I'll just uh, pick a random one here, and I'll kind of show you here. Uh, this is just something really simple I did. Watch this one for a minute. <clears throat> Stick them up. Who are you? Oh yeah? You want it the hard way, huh? Who sent you? The man you are looking for. Red. You get the idea. Um, so you can see there's a lot of things that go into this here. Um, you can see all of these up here are part of the director group. And then all of these down here are all objects that you can manipulate um, that are actually in the game world. So again, I'll, I'll go to more of this later, but uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be getting into. So that should pretty much um, wrap up the beginning of this. And... So the next video here will be basic mesh movement. So, all right, uh, we'll see you back for that one.